Okay. Some of you struggle with adding and subtracting fractions, so we're just going to go over the basics of it. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So here we go. Example one. Four sevenths plus one third. How do we? Or what do we need when we add or subtract fractions? So how do we get a same denominator? Yeah. Oh, All right. Perfect. Find a number that the bottom number is both going to. Wait. They both go into 21. So we need to change them. All right. So we need to change our denominators. How do you change or manipulate your denominators? And then multiply it by to seven and four. Okay. And then you take seven and multiply by three and one. Right so far? Yeah. Now, does that change things? Does that change the value of your fractions? Or are they the same? This changes the values. I don't want to change the values. What do I need to do? same to the top as you do to the bottom. Okay? So do not forget that. What is you're really multiplying by a fraction, if you want to know. You're multiplying by 3 over 3. What is 3 over 3? One. Okay. Uh, one. one. When you multiply 1 by 1, that doesn't change the value, does it? That's why this works. So that's why when I say you got to multiply the top by the same thing that you multiply the bottom by really multiplying by one. I'm not changing the value. I'm manipulating the way things look. I'm making these fractions bigger on the top and bottom. Um, but they're really the value is staying the same. Okay. So what do I get on the top? Twelve. Seven. And on the bottom I get twenty-one. Is that correct? Now what's twelve plus seven? That? No. no, so I'm done. Alright, so let's do another one. Example two. Three and one half plus negative seven and four fifths. Three and one half plus negative seven and four fifths. What is the first thing that we should do? Change of improper fractions. What happens when I do that? What do I get? The first one. Give me the first one. Two times three is six plus one is seven halves. Good. Plus. Go ahead. Anybody want to do this one? Anybody else? Yep, 35. 
And what's the next fraction become? 2 times 39? Somebody said negative 78. Is that right? Okay. So if the denominators are the same, you've seen what I've done. I've put both fractions over one denominator. All right. So what is 35 plus 78? Plus negative 78. Negative 43 over 10. Now that's reduced, but that really doesn't tell you the value, so let's make it a mixed number. What is that? Great. Yeah. A negative 4 with a remainder of 3 over 10. We good? Yep. Awesome. Substitution at this point. Parker, what do we do?
Everybody check that to make sure that's right. Got that right, raise your hand. Negative 7 over 39. Who got it right? Ouch. Are the rest of you still working? Yeah. yeah. Still working. Okay. Alright. That makes me feel Alright. Simon. Start. Awesome. 